I keep trying to post live videos on Facebook and for some odd reason I keep getting shut down. So I'm just going to make a video and post it um, the next time I get a chance to either get to the library or to get out because somebody keeps hacking into my phone and messing with my, um, my Wi-Fi feed. Boost caught it already. They just haven't yet to do anything about it. I'm praying that when the next set of people that are supposed to leave up out of here go, that it fixes the internet because they're all in the same group. Um, I'm not trying to be funny, but Shane and Heather, our girlfriend and boyfriend, um, there's also, and they also said that Heather was with uh, Rusty too, and that they heard them screwing in the woods. So, excuse my French for saying that, but it's the truth. Um, on top of that, we got an issue with somebody who was using my insurance who's HIV positive. They told me in 2014 that they knew somebody was doing that. They just didn't say it in so many words, but they knew that I was not HIV positive and it was someone else using my insurance um, under identity theft. They were trying to catch the person, but we've got some situation here where there's actually two people I think were doing it. And I think it was Tara Carpenter and uh, Heather Abney who were using my medical insurance. There may be one other person, one or two other people. I also know Cassandra um, Stratton was as well. And um, I do believe that she attempted to fake her death out in um, out in Florida with that building that fell down. Um, I don't believe that it, that she's she was in that building. Um, and she's a con artist and she's a drug addict. All these guys are Tara, um, Heather, uh, uh, and uh, Cassandra Stratton. All these guys grew up together. They all hung out together and they are all associates. They all do drugs together. They don't like me because I don't do drugs. They also don't like me because I don't sleep around and have threesomes and orgy parties like they do. I don't believe in any of that, obviously, because I'm a chaplain and I believe one man, one woman, one marriage. I believe wholeheartedly in that. These girls pass each other's men's around, and my point, I'm not trying to badmouth or be nasty to anybody, but when you have people that behave this way, you're supposed to tell. And the reason you tell is because these guys are purposely spreading STDs, not just STDs, HIV, which is serious business. To me, for you to expose somebody to that, not with that, you and you know that you're doing it, to me, that's attempted murder. To some people, it's murder. And I have to agree with that, too. There should be criminal charges for people that do this type of thing. Because I can tell you, I was raped and it happened to me. I was blessed with not being, um, being burdened with HIV. I'm lucky on that aspect of it. However, we've got people here, one of which, Heather Abney is a media person. And she's running around. She's not the only one. There was another girl that I ratted out who moved to Texas who was also, they were all sleeping together and sleeping with Mr. Carpenter and other people. Which is why I'm like, ew, I don't want anything. But they called me nasty, right? Because, because people were doing stuff to my house. They paid people to trash my house. But they calling me nasty and these guys are spreading STDs. They should go to jail for that. On top of that, they were lying and using people's insurance in order to defraud them and give the impression that I was sick when these guys already knew that I wasn't and they were taking advantage of it with the, via the medical care. We've also got a situation where Tara was spotted at the Pets Alive property with Mr. Carpenter, not just right when they were murdered, but also afterwards stealing the marijuana that um, I told Mr. Carpenter was in the trailer in the back. So there's only one person that I told that to. And since they knew, the law enforcement knew that I was home while Pank had my car, I can just assume that because he was also seeing Tara at the time, that it was her. So I believe that she was, she told law enforcement, I believe they were caught and she told law enforcement that she was me. And I believe that she did it several times, which is why Mr. Carpenter was confronted at Mr. Pompey's about being married to me because him and I have never been married. How can I get married to him? I wasn't even supposed to be doing that with Mr. Um, Hennington. And they caught me and made me come home. The military did. I'm not trying to be funny, but my mom, she told them that I wasn't right. 
because you know I do some civil rights stuff. I you know I try to I try to dedicate myself to the cause at times. Anyway, my point here is this: my purpose is that these guys knew that I was married to James way before any of this happened. They took advantage of the situation. Tara knew that I had the head injury and that it was as severe as it was because she heard everybody talk about it. Tara is the one who decided to run around and lie on me and tell people that I was things that I wasn't. That's her bad. She needs to be charged for defamation because I've got multiple witnesses, I can name them, who will verify that Tara went lying about me with regards to drug history um, and other things. And I believe Tara was the one who was actually committing the behavior and she was blaming me for it. I don't get down like that. Um, people know I'm a, I am keep to myself. The only time you've ever seen me out there on the street, I have been, it's because I'm homeless. When I have a home, you don't see me like that. So they know they're lying. That's the point, is that they knew these guys were lying and they didn't do anything to stop it. That's because Tara confessed and bragged to everybody that she was bribing a judge in order to make that happen. So, and then Mr. Carpenter confessed to me that she told him that she was bribing the judge because he thought I was going to let him get in my pants. And I turned him down because I was suspicious about, S it's not just STDs. He was married to Tara when that he solicited me. And I told him no, because he was married and he knew that I was married to James at the time. It wasn't a secret like that. So for him to sit up here and to try to pretend like he did is disturbing. The other problem is this, we've got the same group of people who were involved in the situation from the house that was raided, Joe and Heather Abney's house, in 2003. It was 2002 or 2003, the house that I turned in. These guys are the same people that were involved in that. So it doesn't surprise me that they would have done what they did to me in retaliation because I turned them in because they were soliciting underage girls, including some of which were their own children, because I've got other witnesses that have verified because they don't have any charges or then they're not looking at any charges anymore because they already told. So these guys don't understand that. They were already told on. So for them to sit here and to try to pretend like nobody knows anything when the whole world knows about it, it's all common knowledge. Tara was going around to Pank's own family accusing him of sleeping with some of the underage girls in his family. I had family members, because I'm related to them regardless, I have family members that came back and told me that that's what was going on. I also had other family members who told me that Tara was doing the same thing, and I believe them. I've got multiple sources to the point where it's common knowledge that these guys were doing this stuff. Tara bragged about bribing the judge. It's just which judge did she bribe. And for the record, it's in my dozier that failure to protect voids a judge's immunity. So, because I've been injured multiple times and I've had my life attempted, including an explosion in my RV, because of this, I can safely say that they failed to protect me. So, for that reason, their immunity is voided, including any judge who got retirement immunity. Let me say that again including any judge, an example, Judge Dodge, who got immunity due to retirement. When it is discovered that you were hiding crimes and failing to protect, it voids your immunity. It is part of the Constitution in the Code of Ethics section. For those of you who do not know where it's located, I studied that because of my case in Bremerton. Because I studied it so hard. When I was hitting the head, it's just something I didn't forget. 
so I know what the Constitution, not just the United States Constitution, the Michigan Constitution says about failure to protect voiding immunity. They're pretty, they go hand in hand. So for those of you who didn't know any better, I gotcha. You're busted. Have a blessed day. Oh, and law enforcement, it was my pleasure. Back the badge.